Our daughter was doing just fine till your son climbed on top of her. Before my son met your daughter, he was a virgin. Thanks, Mom. The, the script was really genuine and sweet, and I loved kind of uh, the arc of it and its simplicity and its relatability. And then also, once uh, they were attaching cast, and I just kind of saw who they were getting and, and people that I had watched and admired and loved, so I was definitely not gonna turn that down. Yeah, I just thought it was a great script. I thought it was just, it wasn't, they weren't trying to pit the Latino family against the white family and make all the, you know, the tired jokes that we've seen over and over again. It was just really well written and very funny and really mm -hmm. smart. So I was excited to do comedy and um, I loved the character and it was kind of like nothing I'd ever done before. Um, and I thought it was really funny, the script. My son's a pretty good gauge of, I, I think this kind of material. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey man, let me, let me, let me uh, bounce something off you. I'm gonna read this with your mom and I want you to watch, watch what I'm doing. And, and, and he laughed the whole time. It's a very close family. And, and I think that, I don't think we smother, but we, very, we love each other a lot. And we, we're kind of all best friends and we do everything together. It's kind of an ideal family. It's a really mm -hmm. sweet, ideal family. And they encourage their kids and their kids are smart and, and funny and charming. And it's just kind of like the family I'd like to have. I play Caroline Yoder, and this, she plays my daughter Molly Yoder. That's right. Um, and she's our only daughter, and uh, on her graduation day she comes home to tell us that she's pregnant by a boy that we didn't even know she was dating. So that's some news. You go on and on about your the son, your son, your son. What about her? I went to the family to to college all four years. Stop! Stop! Everyone! Molly, I never got an answer. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. <laughs> I get um, Molly, Yoder, pregnant. Um, and so, you know, that's a, a big point of what brings these, these two families together. And we have to come clean and have to confess and then deal with this wonderful new baby that we're about to have. Yes. <laughs> they drop that bomb on both families as they get the families together for the first time uh, shortly after the graduation. Unbeknownst to the two children, uh, the fathers have coincidentally met previous to this announcement and do not like each other. Comedy ensues. The thing that I always say about Molly and Junior is that it's their love is very simple. You know, it, like, and that's another interesting thing about the show is that it's kind of about all all these different you know love at all these different stages. But for Molly and Junior, it, um, it's just. Fairies, they just love each other, and so they're gonna make it work. I think because they really love each other. Um, I know they're young, so it's perceived to be this kind of puppy love or this thing that's fleeting, but uh, I think it's what we really wanna drive home is that Molly and Junior really do have a love, and yeah, they are different, And which is actually what I, I love about it, is these two kids who are so different can really teach their parents, who see only can see the differences, um, something about relating and getting along, and we really do have things to learn from each other. The universal differences are things like their approach to parenting, their approach to how they view family, the important significance of family, uh, uh, what love is, what, uh, you know, what, how to raise your child. Well, we hope to not get along so well. We definitely want to have some conflict because it's going to give us something to do. We don't want to be the typical, you know, sitcom wives that just stand back and, you know, let the men, you know, do all the stuff and we just sit there. But I think that we're definitely the, the voice of reason when our husbands fly off the handle. But women are, have always been sort of cast and they always have to be the peacekeepers and the ethical center of the show and they always know right from wrong. And you know, one of the reasons I loved doing Mary Shannon was that she wasn't that way. And I, I just think it was so refreshing that it's like a tonic for women to watch that because I think we know, women know what we're like. Like we know we're unreasonable and yeah. childish sometimes <laughs> and that we can be jealous or petty or a bunch of things that aren't necessarily, you know, attractive. I really think the show's gonna, gonna speak for itself. I mean, we have uh, some great competitors, but they're all so different. Um, uh, you know, we have like a, the, the Once Upon a Time in Wonderland and, and you know, a, a reality show, the, the X Factor. So this is really gonna be for the family audience. And so I think a lot of the work is gonna be done for us. Yeah.